Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so um, I'm leaving next week and life here at home is stupid busy. Um, I've got a few commissions I wanna to do today this is a very special one. And I'll tell you guys what that is in a minute. Super duper special. But I wanna show you guys the dried results of my last commission for my client, um, which is dry. So let's start with one panel. So this is one of the two from the diptych that I did using just the blue and gold. Nice shimmer. That's the one. And then the other one, both dried super duper well. You can see. So super happy with that. These are gonna get a top coat of crystal resin and then they shall be shipped off. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you is right before I left for Vegas, I did that cheesecloth, you know, abstract piece. Um, and then I used the stuck up piggy hoity toity. I love that word, hoity toity. Um, and I did this. So um, I was in such a rush to get that video done, get it edited, uploaded, and on YouTube before I left for Vegas. So you guys kind of got like a glimpse of the final results, but you didn't get a final, final result. So I'm showing it to you here. This is the final, final result. I did spray it. I didn't resin it. I actually sprayed it with um, Windsor and Newton high gloss varnish. Okay. I love this stuff. I love the Windsor and Newton brand. I've been using it for years whenever I do actually varnish things. Um, and so I sprayed three coats on it. So it is done. See, I love it. Blue and purple and blue, greenish and purple. It's so cool. Now, a lot of you asked how I finished the back. So the back was taped. Um, I peeled off the tape that had the black resin drips. And um, what I did was I took a utility knife or an X-Acto knife, whatever everyone calls it. And I basically just scored the edge all the way across and that's what it looks like so i still need to stamp it and date it and all that and you know sign it and all that but that's how it looks it's super cute this little bugger was a lot of work um but i'm glad i did it I'm glad i tried it it was really super fun um yeah so i think it's a couple of videos back so check a couple of videos back if you want to see how i did this it is available for purchase i think this is a 10 inch round it's available for purchase if anyone is interested. You can email me at canelasaraco at gmail.com. So yes, I'm glad I got to show this to you guys because I had a few people asking questions. How did you finish it? What does it look like? So there you have it. Um, again, if you didn't watch my last video, big announcement, uh, Massey Art Studios and myself, Lee and Jeremy and I are doing a workshop together, small little intimate workshop in Dallas, Texas, October 27th and 28th. I'll be flying out and we are going to be doing uh, two days worth of classes in the Renaissance Hotel. If you want information on the dates, the times, the classes that are being offered, what we're teaching, all that fun stuff, you can email us at fluidartwithfriends at gmail.com. And I believe it or not, we're so stoked. We already have 50% of the seats sold out. So there's four classes being taught, 25 people max per class, and we're already halfway sold out. Um, we're super stoked. Like, I mean, we knew we'd have people signing up, but we didn't have any idea so many people would sign up so quickly. So we're super happy that 50% of it is sold out. So if you would like to come, don't delay, get your tickets. Um, and the Renaissance is offering a discounted rate for the hotel stay. I believe it's either 125 or 129 regular price is over 200 so you'll get a discount staying at the hotel as well but again fluid art with friends at hotmail or gmail fluid art with friends at gmail.com if you want information october 27th and 28th um i think that's it aside from me being off to greece um today i am working you guys all know i'm going to kathleen from cause creations She's getting married to a wonderful man named Rick, and uh, they are getting married October 7th. 
Yes, because I get there on the 5th. But um, I cannot wait to go to the wedding. I'm going to see some more familiar faces. Lee and Jeremy are going to be there. And a few other of my YouTuber friends are going to be there. Um, I can't wait. It's going to be so romantic. Um, but Kathleen has asked me to do a special piece for her for the wedding, for the reception. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys what that is once I get myself set up. It's pretty big. Um, so I'm hoping I can get it all in the shot here, um, but I can't wait to get started and do this piece. Thank you, Kathleen, for trusting in me to do this for you for your special day. Um, so let's just get started. I'll be right back. All right, everybody, let's do this. So what I have here, are R and C, so for Rick and Kathleen, um, monogram letters. And I had my old wood guy from way back in the day. For those of you who are longtime viewers, if you remember, I did those wood cutouts, um, turtles, sharks, mermaids, all that fun stuff, and I was doing resin on them. Um, I reached out to him and he made me these um, letters. I painted them all black with my oxide black from Amsterdam. I did three coats on all of them, front and back, and then I taped the back with um, just painter's tape, okay? Now, and then I sanded it to make sure it was smooth. So they're ready to go. Um, now, Kathleen said to me, I can do whatever I want. The only thing is it has to be black, white, and silver. That is it. No colors, nothing else, black, white, and silver. And so, and she said, I can do however I want. I can do a Dutch pour on them. Um, I can do a bloom on them. I can do resin on them. I can do whatever I want as long as it was black, white, and silver. And I sat and pondered this for a long time. And, you know, I could have done a bloom on them because I have done blooms on letters, much smaller letters. But at the end of the day, I do blowouts best and that is my niche that is what I'm known for and I thought you know what this is from me to Kathleen and so I decided that I'm just going to do a blowout on them because um, then I know at least I know it's going to be the way I want it um, so I'm using oxide black by Amsterdam and then I'm using titanium white by Amsterdam. Ooh, I had another thought. Then I have Iridescent Silver by Pebeo, and I do have some Oxide Black, but I just had a thought. I am going to use Pearl White by Amsterdam. Yay! Glad I thought about that before I even started doing this piece. That's great. So now I've got Pearl White Amsterdam, the Iridescent Silver by Pebeo, Titanium White, and Oxide Black by Amsterdam. Now, if you don't have the Pearl White by Amsterdam, you could always use Pearl White by Arteza because Arteza or Arteza also has a Pearl White. Um, doesn't matter which one I use. So I'll just use the Amsterdam one. All right, so this is gonna be a pain in the butt to cover this all. So this is gonna take me a while. Um, for those of you who want to know how I mix my paints, you know, even the base paint in this big jug, check out video number 434. I will link it up here at the top. For those of you who are new, click on that link, full tutorial, how I mix my paints. I'm gonna flood these lovely letters and I'll probably be back in about 15, 20 minutes. I'll be right back. a spot here gotta fix that okay bubbles have been popped 
Okay, so now I'm just literally going to take my three colors and maybe a little bit of black on the end, at the end. And I'm just going to like totally flood all of this. So I think I'm going to start with the silver and I'm just going to wing it and just do these lines like this. I want to put a lot on here because a lot of it's going to get blown off too, right? With the hair dryer. So I got to make sure there's enough so that I can manipulate and make some sort of design while I'm blowing it off. Because because this is such a small surface, I can definitely manipulate it and just add more if I need to. All right, so now I'm gonna do the white. All right, guys and gals. I always say guys, gals and guys. I am like freaking out because I have so much to do and so little time to do it. And I, I apologize if you watched my last video, I did mention that while I'm gone for two weeks, there's no way I'm gonna have stockpiled videos for you guys to watch while I'm away. So you're gonna have to suffer from some canela blowout withdrawals while I'm gone, unfortunately. Um, I just do not have the time to make another extra four or so videos while I'm gone. I will, however, and you can let me know in the comments actually, I can definitely show you guys some cool things from Greece. Maybe do some, you know, blog videos, show you guys where I'm at, what I'm doing. I'm gonna be visiting my parents' villages, the monasteries up in the mountains. Like, I mean, I'm gonna be doing a lot of things. Do you guys wanna see that in my videos? Um, I could definitely do a few blog videos while I'm gone and show you guys how my trip is going. I can definitely do that. If you guys are interested in something like that, you know, let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely once in a while throw up some videos while I'm gone. Okay. And if you're on Facebook and Instagram, there will definitely be pictures while I'm gone. So. Let me know, do you wanna see, um, you know, videos of me while I'm away? Um, all right, so that's done. This should be interesting. I'm so glad I'm using this little flower hair dryer because it does have a small concentrator. <clears throat> so I'm gonna get at this and see what happens. Let's go. Taking a minute to pause. I'm loving what's happening. I do want a little more white though. Uh, I do want a little more white in this. So I'm going to add a little more white to the rest of this, or at least let me do it on the A. And then that way, if it's very dramatically different from the R, at least the, or, yeah, from the R, at least the, this ampersand here, did I call it an A? I meant to say ampersand at least that'll be like, you know, the R and the C will match and then the ampersand will be a little different. All right, let's keep going.
Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Ooh, this silver and the pearl white is stunning. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, do I add more white to the C? No, I think I'm going to leave it because I want it to match the R. Okay. Oh boy, I love this so much. The, oh my, can I just take a moment? Let me take a moment. Oh wow. The question now is, what do I do with the sides? Can you see? So there's like, you know, the drips along the sides, which aren't fully covered. So I could play around with it and dab it until they're fully covered, which, yeah, I can do that. Actually, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I'm going to do. I love it. Oh, Kathleen, I hope you like it. I hope you love it. Um, Mm-hmm. Wow. I just, I can't stop looking at it. I love this little streak in here like this. So many cells happening. Okay. I'm going to fix all the edges on this, uh, which is going to take me a long time. But when that's done, I will bring you guys in for a close-up. Be right back. Alrighty. Well, that took a really, really long time. Um, but yeah, I had to sit and dab my finger around all the edges to make sure every piece of part of that wood was covered um, and had paint on it. So let's start with a close up. Now, well, I've already scraped the drips as best as I could and I used my fingers. Like, I mean, this, this is what it looks like, but let's get down close. I'm loving the cells i'm so glad i did this and not a bloom or a resin like i mean this is my thing this is what i do best and i'm loving it the shimmer in this is going to be really good and now this is going to take i don't know how many days to dry but once it does dry it is then going to get a top coat of crystal resin look at the cells look at the cells so it'll get resin and then it shall be beautified um and finished and then i will pack them up and ship them off i love this streak right here that streak right there it'll be packed up and shipped over to kathleen in north carolina so there you have it let me see what kind of shimmer we get with the flash on Alrighty then so there's, yeah, look, there's so much shimmer in this because of the iridescent silver by Pebeo. And then also because of the um, pearl white by Amsterdam. I won't do all the letters, but let's do the ampersand. You get an idea. Ooh, focus. So there's definitely going to be shimmer in this for sure. It's so pretty. All right, let's turn the lights back on. So there you have it, my friends. I would love to know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Um, Kathleen, I know you're watching this. Let me know what you think. I hope you and Rick love it. I can't wait to finish it off with resin and ship it out to you. And I can't wait to see it. 
proudly displayed at the reception of the wedding. I cannot wait to come and see you guys. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Um, if you want letters like this for yourself, like, I mean, you can commission them. It'll take a while for me to do it and all that fun stuff. But if you're interested in commissioning your own letters, feel free to email me at canelasiraco at gmail.com. Um, and that is it. So yeah, if you're interested in coming to see me in Dallas, Texas with the Massey boys, Lee and Jeremy, don't forget, email us at fluidartwithfriends at gmail.com. And that is it for me for now. Until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.